Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tales of Arise. Last time we left off, uh, Law became a farmer. I almost said we became a farmer, but... No, that's not true, it's just Law. So, that's neat. Always knew this is what he was born for. We left him back there, he's not going on our quest anymore. Definitely, for sure, 100%. Full-time farmer now. I hope Zephyr's proud. So... Guess all we really gotta do is just get in here now, huh? Yeah, I think that's about it. Well, let's just go ahead and head on into town here. Interesting architecture. Huh. Looks very pretty. Alright, what's up? What's going on in this city? What sort of horrible, horrible thing are the Renans doing here? Well, it's certainly a very pretty looking town. Was that an armored soldier I saw chilling with a kid earlier? Vis... Vicent. Vicent? Vicent. It must just be Vicent, right? That's the only way I can think Look, of pronounce that. Soldiers. Do the Renans control this city? I've never seen so many of them in one place before. No. Look at the cores on them. These people are all Danans. They're slaves. If they are, they're awfully well-dressed. And they're smiling, too. Something weird's going on here. Forgive the intrusion, but if I'm not mistaken, you're newcomers to Elda Menencia, yes? Please, you have no reason to be alarmed. My name is Drashen. I work at the Department for Welfare. Department for Welfare? We work to support the day-to-day -day living of all citizens. Welcoming newcomers to the realm is a part of our job, albeit one we rarely have the pleasure to perform. Let me guess. We get a free pair of shackles as a welcome gift. Perish the thought! Your trepidation is perfectly understandable, but I assure you, our way is quite different. <sighs> In the past, this realm was no different from any other, and run by a rather merciless ruler. But all of that changed once His Excellency, Lord Dohalim, assumed power seven years ago. Dohalim? Under him, for the first time in our lives, we Danans were treated with the respect we deserve. Lord Dohalim is adored by Danans throughout the realm, and we serve him with gladness. Am I hearing you right? The Danans here willingly serve a Renan Lord? Please, see for yourself. You're free to go anywhere you like. Just ask if you should need anything. What is it? Spit it out. It's just, we came here to free everyone. Uh-huh. But the Danans of this realm are all happy to serve Dohalim. Are there any walls that even need tearing down? Who cares? That just makes our path to Dohalim that much clearer. Ruthless. I guess, but... Still, Drashen said we should check things out for ourselves. Maybe we should look around a bit, see what we learn. Yeah, this place seems too, too happy to me. Everyone is all smiles. I've never seen a city so lively before. I don't trust it. This, this stinks of, uh, what's the, what's the town in Avatar? Uh, there is no war in Ba Sing Se. This is, this, that, this kind of shit. That's what it reminds me of. There is no war in Bossing Say. We're not being oppressed. Believe me. See, I am smiling. And I have taken my daily allotment of drugs that keep me smiling and happy. Like, I, I don't know. I don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit. Like, maybe the Danans do actually think this leader is cool, but maybe the leader's, like, secretly siphoning life from them, but they just don't know it? I don't know. Like, they must be getting their, their astral energy some way, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't buy it though. I don't buy. I don't buy this at all. I'm wary. Your armor rocks, big guy. Let me wear it. 
Ha ah, ah, ha, our armor is certainly something even a Danon like you could wear. You just need to grow into it first. I'll work hard to grow big and strong then, promise. So that actually was a Renan armored soldier. Yeah, you're actually a Renan armored soldier. I thought there maybe it was Danons in the armor at first, but it specifically refers to them as Renan armored soldiers, so. Everyone walking the streets looks so calm and happy. I guess it really is true they don't treat Danans as slaves here. Did they actually somehow achieve equality here? And if they did, why? To what end? Something here doesn't feel right. Even though they sure want to act like it does. What is going through that Lord Dohalim's mind, I wonder? <sighs> We're in well, what's the deal with you? Also, I'm pretty sure there was another skit. I purposely didn't get it because I was like, I'll get it after this conversation. I didn't realize that was going to put me into a cutscene. And then we got another skit that overrode it. But the old one isn't popping up. That's a bit frustrating. I guess I'll have to see that one at uh, a camp once I get the opportunity to do so. This is v Vizent, capital city of Elda Menencia. Beauty is breathtaking, don't you think? If you want to reach the center of town, just keep going straight. Finally, we're here, the capital of Vicent, a paradise to all. Are you okay, mister? I'll call someone over right away. I oh, you want to know what I'm doing. Tending the trees. If they don't get tender loving care, then the flowers Lord Doalim loves so much will never grow here. <laughs> You're surprised. This is a highly respectable occupation here, you know. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. <laughs> ah, I remember you. Do you need anything? What is this place? This is Vis Vicent, capital city of Elda Menancia. Beautiful, verdant, peaceful city full of life. The most beautiful landmark is Otalina Palace, the mayor, uh, the manor of Lord Doeling. His policies have ensured that we can live our lives free of oppression. Do you need anything else? Seems pretty bustling. It sure is. It's what sets this city apart. We're still technically slaves, but we get paid fairly for our work, so everyone's happy to work. The marketplace is booming and worries about where food or lodgings come from are a thing of the past. It's all the resort of Lord Dohalim's reforms. Now then, do you need anything else? Is there anywhere we can rest? Ah, oh, you must be tired after so long on the road. Go up the stairs behind me and you'll find an inn straight to your right. I always got a barker girl out front, so it should be hard to miss. The beds there are great, so I highly recommend staying there at least once. All right. Later, if something happened. Um, let's see. I think I want to go into that inn just so I can get that other skit that I missed. <clears throat> What's this? Is that a tired-looking customer I see? You'll find the perfect inn right behind me. While you're out here waffling, you could be resting in one of the in the best, most soothing beds you'll find in town. All right. That was a cat that had a mouse trapped. Poor mouse. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. You always say that. What's up? Oh, what did, what did you say? Menencia's a realm known for its abundance, and not just the natural resources either. Is there something I can help you find? Uh, no, I'm good. The happy bottle's new, but I don't need one. A lemon. I have 15 lemons, apparently, so I guess I don't need any of those. Uh, we can rest with you. Do you have new stuff? Craft weapon. Uh, nope. Nothing new here. And, uh, alright. What about you? Eh, you probably don't have anything new. I don't have anything new items or anything. But what's up the stairs? Oh, it's ripped off. Of course it is. No fun allowed. Please feel free to come in and unwind. Rest. Cook? Uh, sure. We need to cook with you again. Hell yeah! There's no way you can complain about how this tastes! I'm kind of just wasting the items, but I want to unlock that tree for law, so... Because we're just going to be walking around town. It's not like I'm going to get in a fight in the next three minutes, but... Whatever. Thanks for staying here. You're always welcome to come back. Ah, oh, no, damn it. We do actually need to go to a camp. Specifically to see that uh, skit that I missed. Well, it's going to bother me, so I might just fast travel out of here and go do that really quickly. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Oh, great. How the hell am I going to find him here? There's the, there's the cat that's got the mouse trapped. Looks like the mouse is crying. Ow. Alright. Well, 
Um, gets me back to this place? This place. Which apparently there's a... Yup, there's a new quest. Interesting. Alright, well, get me right here. And I'm going to sit and see what that skit I missed We've was. We've reached our destination. Uh, free wheat. It's a new day, I guess I could go check on, on my animals. I don't know if it gives me, like, a notification when they're grown or something. Not sure. This realm doesn't seem like such a bad place to camp in. Yeah, there's lots of plants and wildlife here. I know, and it all looks freaking delicious, too! Who said anything about eating them? Louie, is that you? Alright. Did I miss one? Huh. Doesn't look like I did, actually. Yeah, I don't see an exclamation point. Okay, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I didn't get two skits. Maybe that was just one. Well, we can cook again. <laughs> just wasting all of these. Whatever. <laughs> well, we know we can farm them, so... If I ever get low on stuff, I can just kind of farm it. Oh, hey! Shion, could we talk a moment? Shouldn't you be resting? I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll, uh, stop bothering you then. I didn't say you were bothering me. Uh... Sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to... chit-chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. Oh. When I was a little girl, the doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? No, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lenegas. I didn't have a choice. Most likely it's long gone at this point. Hmm. I wonder if we can grab that doll I think when it's we, time we go to sleep. inevitably go to Lenegas at some point in this game. <laughs> Maybe we'll find it. Would be neat. Hello, what is this? Law, growing boy. Yeah, that's the one I needed, right? When sent flying, press R2 to recover and land without being downed. Yeah, that's the one for cooking a certain amount of times, right? Claiming a bounty. Armored enemies broken by boost attacks. Leg strike proficiency. Young man can't fight on an empty stomach and Law is no exception. As it is at his age, the more he eats, the more muscles he builds up. Increased boost strike damage? Ooh. That's good. Okay, this is a pretty good tree. A forward thrusting barrage of kicks also sounds fantastic. Morning. Ready to head out? Sure am. Alright, so I can stop spamming... I can stop spamming cooking with Law now. Alright, and let's get back to... Well, I guess I should grab this side quest, huh? See what it is. While we're out here. Uh, howdy dowdy. I hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully it's nothing that'll be too hard to deal with. Who are you guys? Hmm. I understand your concern, sir, but we've got our hands full with other matters. We'll try to take care of it as soon as we can get to it. We appreciate your patience. Hey! As soon as you can, I can't afford to wait. Don't you understand? Everyone's going to be in deep trouble if you don't get on What's this. Wrong? What's the problem? Sounds like we're dealing with a serious situation here. Hmm? Oh, you could say that. My farming equipment's all ruined. Band of zoogles are behind it, the pesky varmints. Using earth astral energy or whatever you call it and making the metal on my equipment rust up. Why is this happening? And I can't fix rusted equipment. How am I supposed to harvest my crops now? Huh? 
It's just Zoogles you're dealing with. Can't the Renans here scare them off? These ones are untamed. Even the Renans are helpless to do anything about them. Damn it. If something ain't done soon, the yield of my fields is going to be worser than awful. Worser isn't a word. Manancia might be doing well these days, but that's down to farmers like me who help maintain our food supplies. I guess. Definitely understand why this is a big problem, yeah. I know what it's like to have to go without food. You do too, right, Law? <sighs> yeah, things get pretty miserable when you go hungry. I'm sure plenty of people in this realm remember what it's like all too well. I don't want to have to see them suffer through that again. Lend a hand. Got it. Why don't you let us take care of these zoogles? We can't just stand by and let people starve. What the? You do that? You're a little lifesaver. I just hate that the guard and armored soldiers aren't handling it like they should. Yeah. When people's ability to eat is at stake, you can't sit around waiting for people to act. Law's right. We'll fix this. You wait here while we get rid of those zoogles. Getting rusty. <laughs> I get it. Good joke. Haha, <laughs> hee hee. Do zoogles just go after anything that looks remotely like farm equipment? It's me. Let's just focus on ensuring they don't make matters any worse. By the way, why do you keep looking over yourself? Huh? Oh, no reason. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? Alfin's looking over himself? What, what, what? I'm guessing it's you guys that we have to defeat, right? I think you're the earthen whatever. Earthen mass, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm playing as Rinwell. That's right, I was running in like I was uh, Alfin. Which would have been bad. Ow. All right, you're gonna get air thrusted. Or whatever other thing I decide to throw at you. Uh, this is gonna mess me up. Never mind. There we go. That's quite a crazy attack. <laughs> it's so strong. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Is this gonna do zero damage? Okay, no, it, it went through the little barrier that that thing was doing. That astral energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had. Two earth stones. Got some more apples to grab too. Uh, all right, where's some more of those bad boys at? I think they're up there. I think there were some up there. Yeah, yeah, there's some. Uh, if you guys could ignore me, that would be great. Thank you. Is that you. the Zugo we're looking for? Yep. Ah, oh, there's only two? Okay, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And one of these. And a final one. Bang, bang, bang. God, these fights are so fast. But, hey, we're messing around with Rinwell. I think I might switch to uh, Law now, though. That's some power you wield. To kind of switch things up again really quickly. And what arts do you have, Law? Let's see, you have Dragon Shot, Rising Kick, Talon Storm is fine. Both of those are already maxed out, though. Fang Blast, I didn't like. Talon Storm, Fang Blast, Dragon Tectonic Punch. Punches the ground and causes a shockwave. Steel, Talon Hurricane. Launch a series of strike, then flies through the air with a spinning kick. Mm. I'll give Tectonic Punch a shot. And then we have Eagle Drive and Glimmer Dragon, a powerful whirlwind kick that creates a vacuum wave. All right, let's do that. And then we can You're the one who did the heavy lifting. hop into a fight here. Where were two more of the stupid earthen mass things at? Gotta be around here somewhere. I think there were some back that way. I mean, while I'm out here, I might as well grab these things. There they are. Okay. So you're the yeah, naughty the little thing. That's destroying that farming equipment. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, can you not? Thank you. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Ah, I wanted to. Damn it. I screwed it up. <laughs> I tried. That's the last of the Zoogles that were ruining the farm equipment. 
Yeah. Thank goodness. I mean, hey. I get the feeling. But were you really that worried about us winning? Oh, uh, no. Of course not. Huh? What? What is? What is Alfin's problem? What, what's happening here? What's wrong with you, Alfin? What you doing? Why are you scared of some earthen mass? All right. Hello. I did the thing for you. Okay. What's the situation with the Zoogles? Yeah. You can rest easy. We got rid of every last Zoogle around here that was giving you trouble. You did it. Wonderful. Now I can repair all of my damaged equipment. Gotta hurry and get everything running again so I can resume my harvesting. Can't let anybody in this realm go hungry after all that. Hope you're not forgetting about us when you say yeah. that. Definitely not. Thank you so all so much for stepping up. I'm just happy to see Menancia's dining tables will still be full of food. All right. Man, nothing like the risk of a food shortage to make sure we get the job done. Oh, well, uh, yeah, but everything's okay now. Hey, Alfin, is it just me or were you a little preoccupied with something else? What makes you say that? Notice you kept looking all over yourself for some reason. Oh, that, well, uh, remember what that farmer said about the Zoogles making all metal rust? Oh, <laughs> that's neat. That's funny. That's funny. Of course, Alfin's worried he would rust. Yeah, why? I was afraid of what might happen to my armor and sword if we didn't do something. I guess... Right, because it's all metal, huh? Y yeah, if all my equipment rusted, I wouldn't be able to fight. You'd be worried too, right? Don't tell me you were in it mostly because you didn't want your stuff going to waste. Really? Gotta be kidding me, Alfin. <sighs> hey, I'm just as shocked as you are. <laughs> Funny. I like it. I like it when side quests and uh, games have a little bit of personality to them. Like it's not just go to point A, go to point B, come back, and the quest giver says quest complete. Good job. I like it when there's a little bit of personality thrown in there. All right, so back in here and let's teleport. Or just teleport here. There, I don't think we have a fast travel inside the city. I didn't see one at least. But this is right outside the city, so it'll work just as well. Alright, let's get back into Vicent. We gotta get back into this Vicentity. I was making a vicinity joke, but... Alright, so... We can probably go down this little side alley here and knock it out. Huh? I think someone's calling out for us. They could have something they need from us. Hello. You look very posh. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. You appear to be a stranger to these parts, yes? Right. Yeah, we came from out of town. Why? <clears throat> I apologize for the sudden proposition, but you wouldn't happen to have any granite fangs on your person by any chance, would you? They come from the tusks of boar zoogles that you can find outside of town. Mm -hmm. Looking for zoogle tusks? How come? To make weapons out of them? That can't be... Oh, nothing like that. You see, those tusks change color when they detect poison. Eating utensils made from those tusks are quite popular at Autolina Palace, so I was hoping to stock up on more of them. Oh my god. <laughs> they use the tusks because they're so used to being poisoned. Or they're so paranoid of being poisoned. Wow, wow. Okay. What, is someone worried they're being poisoned? Hmm. Rena is a society that respects its hierarchy. It's hard for me to imagine anyone actually trying to poison a noble. Likewise, I've never heard of such a thing taking place. However, it's tradition at the palace to offer the tusks as something of a curio. <sighs> I tried to ask the guardsmen for their assistance, but they unfortunately appear to be preoccupied with more pressing matters. Hence, if you happen to have any granite fangs, I wish that you... I wish to ask that you hand me four of them. Sure. How's this? Sure, we can stand to give away that mm -hmm. many. Wonderful, thank you very much, kind sir. Now I have enough to make more utensils. Wow. Well, you're the one who makes them, huh? Mind if I watch you do that sometime? If you're okay with an audience, that is. <laughs> of course. Please feel free to visit me whenever you have a moment to spare. I'd love it if you could also maybe turn some of those tusks into... Hey! Alfin. N never mind. I think we're gonna head out now. <laughs> Very well. Thank you again for your generosity. He wanted a weapon. Alfin always with the ulterior motives for doing quests. Come on, Alfin. Zoogle fangs would make great weapons. You need to stop this fixation with weapons. But you're the same way about food. 
Are you planning to stop that? <sighs> <laughs> Come on, Elfin, be more altruistic. Alright. What's up? Yes, do you need something? If you don't, could you go bother someone else, please? I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, t sorry. Apologies. Jeez. It's so peaceful. Sure is. Do you think Lord Doalim will stay here forever? You two on a little date? Hello. Kitty cat? What are you doing? Just staring at that plant? It's an awfully interesting plant, isn't it? Alright. Uh, nothing? Ugh. Oh, well, he'll be fine. He got sent to a medical facility for serious illnesses. You really think he'll get better? He looked bad, like really bad. The facility uses Renin technology. I'm sure he's in good hands. But, I don't know. Excuse me, that person's just carrying a crate of, like, apples, I think. This view here is amazing! The city's built over that huge forest! Even with these big buildings on top, it doesn't even budge! This armored soldier guy said it was because this is the realm of Earth. Well, those are some strong trees. So we're- oh, wow, it's just built on a forest. That's super- So we're- We have went above and beyond. You have livestock that's reached maturity. Probably my chickens. Um, we've gone beyond tree house. We have a tree city. Neat. What's this? 500 thing? gold that somebody dropped. Gold. Sorry, sorry. Yep. Some beef. Do love me some beef. All right, and that completes our little loop right there. And the city of coexistence. Yes. All right. What do you have to say, character? Hey, guardsman, shouldn't you be working? I don't know what it's like in the realm you come from, but here in Menancia, everything's peaceful. There's zero chance of anything bad happening. Well, yeah, thanks to the Lord, life's nice for all of us. Yeah, I see, and it's more than just us anyway. There's also the guardsmen. Nothing's gonna break if I slack off. Nonetheless, the reason the city's so peaceful is because you Ren and soldiers are around. All the younger kids idolize you, so don't shatter their illusions, please. Got a silver tongue, mister. Fine, I'll make this trick my last. Yeah, everybody's just hanging out with him. Hunky dory. Alright, well, I want to go back to my farm now to check out on those things. And then I guess we'll probably go ahead and end this episode uh, off there. We got a little bit of stuff, uh, a few things accomplished. We uh, finally made it. This is a very meaty area. There's a lot going on here. So, uh, anything to do in the skill panels? Uh, you have a fair bit. Oh, I can finish off this tree for you. Extra penetration. Or increased boost gauge from enemy downs. I guess the question here is, do I- would I rather have that? Or would I rather have this? And plus 20 penetration. Hmm. I almost don't want this increased uh, amount of special ammo, because then that would be less last shots for you to do. But I want the plus 20 penetration, so... Because, yeah, wouldn't it be more effective to not get the increased amount of special ammo? Because then you'd be able to get last shot off more frequently. And, uh, uh, increased boost gauge from enemy downs. Okay, I'll just get this. There we go. Alright, and... 506 for you. AG restored upon enemy defeat. What does this one give you? Elemental defense? Stores AG from crits? 80% uh, of owls met, 50% of items collected. Hmm. I want art casting mobility for you. I'm just going to save up for that. Uh, and yeah, I'm saving up with you too. Okay. Just wanted to check that stuff out. So my stuff's growing. What's up? Key to raising an animals to be happy and healthy and give them lots of love. Blah 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 blah. Falling chicken. Uh, the falling livestock have reached maturity. Chicken. Ingredients obtained: three chickens. Novice rancher. Okay, so sure, send to barn. Let's do some more chickens. Um, let's do the fattening again. Okay, so we have a rat in uh, there with the cows. How do I get rid of the rat? I mean, all I can really do is just put a on wood. I don't know if already. Can I go in here and get rid of the rat this way? 
Where's this rat? Huh? It said there was one in there with one of my animals. I think it was my cows or something. Uh, okay, I don't think I'd take them out that way. I was kind of maybe thinking that's what we do. We go in here and we like find the rat or something. I don't know. My cats are slacking off. They must be like my actual real life cats. They would be horrible at catching a mouse. Oh, there it is. You better hey, you. Not come back. Got it? Yeah, you better run. All right. <laughs> so with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Tales of Rise off here. God, this area is pretty. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.